We're excited to show you the new software as developed by D6, where you can manage multiple communities from a single platform. I'll be using the demo community for this quick overview, and this is where you can access your communities with a single sign-in. But first, let's go to the side menu and to system users. This is where you will be allocating different administrator roles to your system users. You'll invite them over here, and if you hover over this info button, you'll see the various roles available. Your community members. We at D6 understand the need to send relevant information to the correct members in your community. By going into the Members tab, you'll be able to see exactly who belongs to your community, which groups they belong to, if they have downloaded the app, and if they are linked to another member in your community. You'll be able to add members individually or import them in bulk. You'll also be able to take action on a member individually by clicking on them, sending them a message, exporting them, or inviting them to download the app one by one. Members can be categorized into various groups where you allocate members to a certain group, ensuring that they receive the relevant message pertaining to them. When creating groups, you decide which properties sit on that group. It can either be hidden in the app, it can be a private or closed group, or you can allow members to unsubscribe from the group. Hover over the info bubbles to see more detail. Our message feature is very powerful with fine-tuned targeting mechanisms. You can send various messages where everything will be tracked in our message analytics. Where it was distributed, was it read, and if you've asked for a response from your users, you can see their answers here, as well as manage payments if you have payments enabled. You can download a report or go into an individual to see when the message was delivered, opened, and answered to. You can also send reminders to your members. Let's build a message together. You can make use of the templates on your left hand side, or you can make your own message by going into new on your right. The recipients will be your members that will receive the message. It can either be everyone in your community, members and non-members, individuals, or the groups that you have set up. I'm going to go for individual and only add myself. Title of this message, Flower Workshop, which is an event. We will be hosting Flower Workshop. As you are building your message on the left, you can see what it looks like on your right. This is how it will display in the app. Mark is important, makes it red, but this is not so important. It's an event, so we're going to say flower workshop again. Um, join us to learn about flowers. From this event, your end user will be able to also add this to their calendar. Oh boy, okay. It's going to put any time here. You can also make it an all day event. And then put their address in here. If they'd like, they can navigate via the apps, the maps on their phone to this event. We also want to get RSVPs, so we're going to ask a yes no question. But you can also do multiple choice, ask them for an image or a file. And to make it nice, we're going to add some images. The moment you add more than four images, it becomes an album. If you just add images, it will sit like that. But let, let's add more. And call it various flowers. You can also add a video clip, contact details, and a payment item if you have payments enabled. Um, we're going to make this a fixed amount. You can make it open. 
or atomized. Okay. Can be saved as a draft, this message, to work on it later, but we want to send it now. Various sending options. Um, you can either have the waterfall method, which will work out the most cost-effective route of this message. So the message will be sent to everyone that has an app first. Then if they don't have an app, they'll get an email. And if they don't have an app or email, they will get an SMS. In this case, I'm going to send just to the app and I want to send a push notification. Okay, and there the message came through on my phone. So let's open it. And it takes you straight to the message. I can now see, okay, I am going to answer. I will join. Yes. I can scroll through the photos. And I can make a payment. This takes you through to Stick It, our cashless payment partner. Okay, so that concludes sending a message from the portal. Now, main administrators can also send messages from their phones by going into the plus sign or the compose button on the bottom right hand corner. And you can send messages to your groups from there where you can also attach photos or take a photo or attachments files from your phone because we know that it's a busy life and sometimes you're not at the computer you're out running errands and then you can quickly communicate with your community from your phone settings only main administrator system users have access to the settings menu this is where you can update your cover image and logo as it appears in the app as well as the community information the main administrator also has the ability to set the message default publishing settings this defaults the recipients who will receive the messages as well as the platform where they will receive the message on.